Grand Rising, everyone. Welcome, Grand Rising family. Welcome to your weekend message. This is going to be for Saturday the 27th and Sunday the 28th. January is fast coming to an end. Um, feels like that, right? Like it just, it just started and now it's already. Happy birthday to everyone having a birthday this weekend, having a birthday today, having a birthday tomorrow. Uh, may you be blessed. May you be spoiled. <laughs> may you have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful weekend. Thank you to everyone that's sending me birthday wishes. Um, I'm working on trying to catch up here. Um, there was a lot of energy uh, on and around my birthday. And um, and then yesterday, I had a recharge. It felt like I, my body it felt like I was hit by a bus or something. Of uh, I don't know. I just felt... I don't know if it's because I'm going through some an, another set of uh, internal changes or what, but I just couldn't. I couldn't do uh, much yesterday. <laughs> so, and 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 you guys know I'm a I'm a projector, human design, and an empath. So I was out out and about celebrating, and then uh, I had to refill 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 you guys know how that works so um i'm gonna start with the enchanted map again but i'm excited to see what the energy is for this weekend thank you so much everyone that um is here today with us and thank you for liking for sharing for subscribing for commenting below for donating to the channel for donating decks i want to say um thank you to hold on i wrote it down i wrote it down this notebook Thank you to Caitlin, Caitlin Fleming. Thank you so much for your donation. God bless you, beautiful soul. May you continue to may you continue to be blessed and receive tenfold infinity and beyond all that you give. I'm gonna say my prayer, family. Um, again, take what resonates and leave the rest. It's general, and you can reach out to me in the description box below on my website to schedule your own personal reading all right um and thank you to everyone that has scheduled with me i have a client today and then i would like to catch up on some readings <laughs> you know so i can uh again resume back to the 5 a.m now that i'm getting my energy back and go to the gym and do all the things right <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and say my prayer i'm gonna get started you guys are welcome to join me in prayer you can con you know connect with your team your spirit team, your spirit guides, ask the questions, right? Or you can skip fast forward this, this part. Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels and spirit guides. May this message reach everyone that needs it. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. I'm going to start with the enchanted map. Let's go ahead and split the deck. We have goblins. I have no idea what this means. <laughs> I would have to read it from the book. What's under that? Uh, the spirit of place. That's that's four and five. The spirit of pace and the golden palace. We'll see if it'll come up again. Um, that's, that's number five for goblins. So I'm actually, I might even r read a little bit of that from the book. We have Balancing Act. Balancing Act. And then we have Cleaning House. Cleaning House and Balancing Act. I love it. Sp I heard spring cleaning. And when I was uh, praying, uh, calling my angels and praying, I heard spirits say that we're ready for spring. Is that, let me, uh, 
What else is the message here? What is the main energy for the weekend, for the collective? A beautiful family here. What is the message for the weekend, for the collective? Stormfield! Oh! This looks like a tower. And, and, oh, what is going on this weekend? Ride the wave. Okay, we like that. And listening. And listening, 53. And then we have sad embrace. 45 okay so we got a little storm coming all right we're ready to ride the wave we're ready to ride the wave yes we are um i'm gonna go ahead and read this okay and then of course tara will will, will bring it all together for us here a storm is coming Ooh, get ready buckle up brace brace yourself this is a tower okay an uncomfortable chaos is surrounding you. Towers are our friends, right? Think that things that you've left unattended. That's why cleaning. We saw balancing act and cleaning house. Things that you've that you've left unattended may be the cause of some conflict. So there got to be some 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 cleaning up to do. Some cleaning house, maybe perhaps there is a recalibrating going on. The universe is removing. Things, people, situations, uh, all of that, right? From your life. The, in uh, yesterday's reading, we saw the rock bottom energy. Pent up energy needs release. Just as a storm, just as a storm in nature must break for these events occur. For these events occur when the electricity between opposing forces stirs things up and creates temporary disorder. Not all storms are destructive. Rather, they serve nature by bringing rain to the ground and wind to the trees, in enabling seeds to be widely distributed and, co and continuous growth, growth to be ensured. Just remember that whatever is being stirred up inside you or between you and another will benefit you later. The sun will shine again and new growth will be observed. Okay, that's where I heard spring. That's why I heard spring. Um, spring into action. Spring is, is, is significant. Don't be afraid to shake things up a little bit. Oh my. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I want to I wanna know a little bit more about this. Uh, before we do that. Look, I opened up to goblins. Goblins are born when you're wounded and something essential is lost in that experience. From that point on, as you forget, your wholeness... They remain with, with you in the shadows. There, they remind you of what brought them into being. By mimicking your own voice, tricking you into believing that you're unworthy, victimized, or unlovable. Okay. They hold you hostage through low self-worth, self-sabotage, and the feeling that you're lacking what you need. If goblins pay you a visit, know that they represent the shadow of your own self or someone else's. And that they're leading you into a potentially reactive situation. Storm. A goblin's card appears. A goblin card card appear, appearance is an opportunity for growth. However, and a signal that you must love yourself. No human is without flaws. The goblin's message is that you must release resentments and negative self-talk. Within you is a spark of the divine. Ask spirit to help you to heal. Miracles miracles can and do happen. Let go of the negativity. Okay. So, um, and then we have the sad embrace. Let's get the full picture here. Okay. Um, I do, f I, I will post on the community board the worthiness affirmations that I listen to every day. That not only has it already changed my life, it's continuing to change my life. Okay. So, um. You just got to just be consistent and stay committed and listen to it to, um, oh God, and listen to it every single day. Sad embrace. embrace. You may be entering a period. We have here, loss is a part of life. Let go and allow time to heal you. So again, it feels like there is a, a, a shift, a removal, a cleaning house that the universe is doing in your life that we saw, right? So, um, and, and I did, uh, read the comments in, uh, one of the, I don't know if it was a reading or just uh, on the community board where a member of our community was saying that 
she felt sad that her, she she had a birthday and felt alone on her birthday because the universe has been removing all her fake friends um, but it will get better i had the same sweep happen in my life years ago and uh and and i i would and i then the universe then aligned me with the right you know conscious soul family soul tribe conscious connections you're not alone we have us okay here in our community right you have your spirit guides you have your angels just ask for the universe to guide you to your your true soul family your soul tribe your spiritual community in the physical right and and for them to be to and for the uh, your spirit guides to guide them to you okay same with 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 love relationships and so on okay it's it is a karmic completion time okay um I picked that up in the beginning of the year reading that there was going to be a karma completion 2024 uh, recalibrating okay saturn is in pisces first house is in aquarius the second house and pluto just moved into aquarius so there you know there will be a lot of changes it's important that we really work on mastering non-attachment and letting go and detaching it's the best thing that you can do to trust the universe and to trust your angels right now not that it's not sad not that it doesn't hurt right uh validate your feelings you know sit with those emotions right grieve your loss um there is but then alchemize the energy you got to feel what you're feeling so that the energy can move and it can alchemize okay um and and, and it is sad when i'm an aquarius so if this has to do with friendship you know i'm a friendship sign a person right and um very loyal very devoted my friends are my family or i treat when i devote my time energy and effort and love into into someone it's intense and it's for life and and my and the way that i view loyalty is 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 sacred to me so whenever i do get any kind of betrayal or disappointment from a loved one it hits me really hard i feel it in my heart really it's really painful so um I'm, i have compassion and empathy for 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 anyone right now that's going through you know loss it, but it will get better and believe that it's happening for you not to and f not to you and for a reason because the universe has something better to align you with who you're meant to be with and who you're who you're true authentic it's because your vibration is rising because you're doing the healing work when your vibration rises and you come out of one frequency everything and everyone that was connected to that frequency is going to vibrate out okay and and then you're going to align with people that are matching your new vibration your new frequency so sad embrace you may be entering into a period where loss is a theme perhaps perhaps you're having to let go of a long cherished dream if so take heart for this ending may have been for your highest good exactly what i just said the universe is something better and more authentic you know a path for you that's true to your heart okay a better and more powerful dream will be realized in your life if you can accept the loss so surrender acceptance and self-care is really important when you're going through the storm relationships based on faulty foundations are meant to end at this time exactly what i said i didn't even read this disappointments is a form of perception if your expectations were met a sense of loss arises along with sadness and grief I, you, I, you know i read i don't know whose quote it was but expectations is is the root of all suffering right um express these emotions tears are like healing rain that can restore life to a parched inner landscape growth is always assured whatever the loss however great it is let go and experience your feelings so that you may soon see what beauty lies ahead so this is talk this is what that cleaning house was about that's the universe okay that's the universe coming in and and and, and doing a sweep in your life thank you thank you thank you archangel michael right archangel michael every single time 
a person gets removed from my life, I know it's Archangel Michael because I pray to Archangel Michael every single day and I ask for protection. Or Archangel Michael will remove their mask, right? Or have them trigger them to doing something dumb so their mask will come off, right? Or to reveal their true self, right? And I'm really grateful for that. I don't handle loss the way I used to anymore because I understand what it's about and what it's for, right? I, I've come to this a place in my life where I really understand... Uh, and I completely accept that people that there are people that come into our lives for a reason, for a season, for a purpose, and then there are some that's for life, right? In 2023, I had a bunch of people that was sent to me, Earth Angels actually, that was sent to me, uh, you know, to 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 help me in some way, right? To to teach me something, or to support me with something, or to offer me a helping hand with something, but they were never meant to stay in my life. After the mission was complete, they were removed. Our frequencies just wasn't matching. So, um, so it's like the mission was complete, right? We learned the karmic lesson. So when we learned the karmic lesson, the karmic ties and the karmic situations gets removed. And that's what I picked up in one of the recent readings is that you, you passed the test. You learned the lesson. Let the new cycle commence. Let the new cycle in love begin, right? So 53, listening. I love this deck. Can you tell? <laughs> so f this may be your energy or this may be somebody in your energy that's going through a transition right now. Okay. We have 53 here. And ride the wave. Ride the wave. Um, an open heart will hear the message. That, and I always tell you guys, the when your heart is open, you can hear, you know exactly the direction you know exactly what you want. You know exactly the path to take. So clear. There is no confusion. There is no second guessing. There is no going back and forth between your head and your heart. Okay. That's why I always recommend that you guys work on uh, your heart chakra. Work on forgiveness. Right. Uh, work on calling Archangel Samuel consistently on a regular basis. Right. Do the let go affirmations that I post on the community board. I am going the uncondi align with unconditional love because everything comes from the heart. We manifest from the heart. We move from the heart. We speak from the heart, <laughs> right? It, it sh your decision should be based from your heart space, not from your mind or your, e well, of course we need our mind, right? But what I mean, not from your ego, right? Mindset. When this card appears, you're being reminded that there is a time to speak and a time to be silent. Now, now is an occasion for listening, pay attention, not only to what is being spoken, but also to what is not being said at the moment for the deeper, the message is not always obvious. Listen with your heart, not just your ears and you'll find clarity. Receiving the listening card is a fortunate sign and ensures a greater understanding of your circumstances. So, okay, let's see what else we got for the weekend. So someone here is going through a storm. We have the seven of wands. What else? We have the two of swords wanted to fly out. I'm going to get the full message. Last shuffle. I just heard spirits say to, uh, to cut the deck, which I normally don't always do. We have the eight of wands. So things are speeding up fast momentum of energy, fast communication, possible travel for some. The love. Here we are. Here we are in the daily. <laughs> we have the lovers here. We have strength. Okay. A new direction coming in. Somebody a little having some anxiety about it. Overthinking it a little bit. Okay, let's see what else. We have the lovers at the bottom. So this is uh, talking about a divine. This is a divine connection reading. True love reading. As, as it always is. So, okay. So somebody's going through the cleanse, right? The cleanse in their life. The toxicity. Everything that no longer serves is being removed. 
storm feels inside embrace this is like that orphan card number nine 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 so an eight so we're, we're reaching the end of a of a tough cycle as we've been seeing right what else we have the six of cups that wanted to flip in reverse so okay so leaving the past behind somewhat it's kind of like on an angle but i'll take it in reverse so finally moving on from the past healing alchemizing the energy didn't i say i love it i love it well there could be some things from the past and still needs to be faced here okay from your childhood perhaps this may have something to do with children give me more for this weekend here for the collective yeah balancing act remember we saw that when we split the deck there's about this is that uh, harmonious change okay having to figure things out think on your feet prioritize life's responsibilities here could be money right yeah four of cups a missed opportunity there's regret sad, sadness apathy discontent here boredom until listen look listening card until we change our perspective there's a perspective shift that needs to take place take a pause to go into silence and stillness so you can hear right um let's see what else we got for the weekend for the collective the queen of cups and the king of pentacles moving slowly there's the death card scorpio energy we have uh cancer energy here as well we have any of the earth signs virgo strong virgo um two of cups family two of cups so there is something coming towards the queen of cups the, i say coming towards the queen of cups because the queen of cups is in feminine energy of receiving okay coming slowly coming slowly somebody has direction now They've been going through an ending in their life, right? Going through an ending here, this masculine, moving very slowly, okay? Going through an ending, a, tra a spiritual transformation, a rebirth. Normally a transformation, a time frame for a transformation to, you know, for, for something to be transformed. Is it, I was talking to my Scorpio bestie about transformation and she said it normally takes two years. I'm not saying that you're going to be in separation with this person for two years while this person completes their transformation. I'm just saying, even if you were to work out and you want to completely transform your body, like a full transformation time frame, I've been going through a transformation for a total of five years. So <laughs> it's quite the long journey. Knight of Pentacles here, right? Right next to the transformation card, the spiritual transformation, spiritual awakening, the two of cups. Here comes the, 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 the beautiful and the full moon card here, bringing these two together. There's a lot of, uh, when you're, when we're on or around the full moon energy, the telepathy is even stronger. You can feel each other's energy even stronger. This is two people here that are now seeing eye to eye. They have, uh, mutual feelings for each other the yin to your yang see the black horse and the white horse so we are overcoming this okay uh that's what this means this is a victory and a triumph our willpower right <laughs> having the willpower here um to to overcome and transcend the obstacles okay this means we have direction in this deck the horses are moving we have balance within ourselves here okay of the yin and the yang and we're taking control in the reins of our life and we're moving forward okay um so and this is so prepare for change again it could be just the fact that now this person is arriving into your life and and perhaps they sat embrace and perhaps they 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 miss the the love right they want the love they they want the nurturing they want the forgiveness they want you know uh there's a a a, a because I keep seeing embrace, right? Embrace. It's like, please embrace me. Uh, just hold me, right? I, I, I just want to feel your beautiful love, healing energy, your arms around me, your love, your love, your light, right? Um, and, and, and this change may, uh, you know, you're going to need to, to balance things out in your life, right? Uh, it's like when you, when something comes your way, you've got to think on your feet, uh, th things are going to be shifted and moved around in your life. Okay. But I feel like you got this, you got this. Uh, so let's, let's continue to clarify. 
the message. This person may reach out and spirit is saying, hear them out with this listening card, right? And ride the wave right now. Six of cups here in reverse. Clarify that. Three of swords. There's that pain of the past that we're releasing. It feels like with the six of swords in reverse or, or that we're needing to face. Okay. Um, the three of swords is, is a card of healing family healing, feeling the pain to heal it. Right. I was just reading something today. Actually interesting that this came out. I'm going to read it to you guys real quick. It said, um, it really is ironic to heal your life. You have to learn, you have to lean into the shame, the, ne the negative self-talk and the harsh inner critic rather than deny the toxic emotions that stir within, right? Repressing our pain leads to recreating that pain in our adult lives. At one point, you finally say enough is enough. Let's dive in and see what we find. Okay. And that's what it's reminding me of. You know, the need to lean into this pain here so it can move through you and alchemize. Can I have one more for the six of cups in reverse with the three of swords here? Six. It, it takes time. It's going to take time. This is a self-care, self-nurturing. Your invest. Somebody may have made a, not the best investment here, okay, for themselves in the past. And, and it led to a lot of pain in their life. A lot of regret as well. They, they didn't make a good choice or the right choice for them. Okay. And, um, they're seeing clearly now the sun is coming out. Okay. When it comes to this five of wands energy, this struggle, this adversity, this competition, and not the power struggle or not seeing eye to eye push and pull. The sun is coming out. Okay. In someone's life here. But again, we can't resist it or fight it. We just have to sit with it, go into silence and stillness, right? So that we can hear uh, our spirit guides with the seven of pentacles. Be patient with your process. Give yourself grace, right? This is a life review. A life review and, and a reap what you sow card. You get what you put out, okay? With the seven of pentacles. Let's continue. <clears throat> Can I have one on the two of pentacles for the weekend? So something is coming to fruition here. I, I, I just heard the pain wasn't in vain. Can I have one for the two of pentacles? The Ace of wands. There you go. Ooh, we like that. <laughs> we like that. A new, a, a new spark. And here comes the king of cups, the king of, to the queen of cups, the queen of love. You will get through this. You will get through this pain. You will get, I do feel like there is a lot of release work that's taking place of the past here. Be patient with the process, right? So this, this is going to be a good storm. This is going to be a good change for you. It's bringing in a lot of passion, a spark of creativity, right? Uh, this is that fire being lit. It's, uh, 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 what is it? Life spark energy, the fire that's being lit in your belly. Okay. <laughs> Feeling the passion in your belly, right? Um, this is also a call to action. Ride the wave, hop on the wave. When you feel the inspiration, when you feel that calling, that, pa that passionate calling, right? Um, passion is being restored. And again, there is going to be a, a balancing when this comes in. King of cups coming into the queen of cups, your divine counterpart, the two of cups we saw, right? Two people with their own cup, two people that love each other very deeply. One has not expressed it verbally or possibly with actions either the other one has because this queen of cups uh, expresses love in every love language and in every way okay two people here that are extremely psychic and intuitive telepathic uh, into spirituality into the occult the esoteric the metaphysics right um highly sensitive empaths maybe mintacon star seeds m i n t a n mintacon star seeds okay um the, i did say highly sensitive empaths um very creative energy as well but two people here that are in love with each other there's this look we have aquarius and, and scorpio 
Scorpio twice, Aquarius here. Rot to healing, okay? This is like, this person has been going through an awakening. And, uh, and when we go through an awakening, loss and sadness and upheavals and change is a part of that, right? Wave. It's a part of that process. Uh, we've been through it. And, um, and a lot of healing is taking place right now in this person's energy, in this masculine energy. Whoever's in the masculine energy. Um, decision is being made right now, but from their higher self with the star card. This is a time of healing, okay, for both of you guys. Of renewal, of hope, of faith with the star card here. And, um, and, and spirituality for this person. This person is going deeper into their heart. The heart chakra has been cracked open. Heart chakra has been activated here. Right? Somebody got a wake-up call. See, they're blowing the horn. And they're listening to the call. Listening. They're listening to the guidance that they're getting, right? When it comes to this action that they're being called to have strength, confidence, and bravery to take, okay? Um, yeah, I like it a lot. You know, this is this uh, this person had taken some time to evaluate seven of, seven of Pentacles, the past, Six of Cups, with this uh, judgment card. And I was just thinking right before I clicked a record here, right? That the divine masculine, uh, it came to me, you know, uh, that the divine masculine needs to forgive themselves, needs to forgive themselves so they can get out of whatever sh guilt, regret, and shame that they are carrying because it's the lowest vibration on the spectrum, you know, and, um, and, 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 and dive into their heart space and make their decisions from their heart, make their decision, judgment, life, huge life decision is being made from their heart, from their healed heart right from their open heart and from their higher self and i feel like that's what's happening here and um and this right here when we answer this when we take action the call to action when we grab the wand and we take action when we're divinely guided to by our intuition that's when we continue on staying on the right path right like because our intuition our third eye, our intuition is our compass. The universe is trying to align us and guide us to give us what we want. Our, our heart's truest desires, all of our wishes, right? It's our ego and our resistance and our fear that holds us back from taking action when our intuition says it's go time. It's us getting in our heads, talking ourselves out of things, right? And, uh, and, and the universe is saying it's time, it's time to act now. When you feel that that pull, that call, that passion, right, to take action. And you won't regret that you did because you followed your intuition. Your intuition lights up the way for you one step at a time, one day at a time. Could come as a creative idea, a creative spark, right? And it's like, keep going back and forth, back and forth about taking the action. Not only does it create procrastination and delays, it also creates anxiety, depression, and all kinds of stuff in your energy. Because at that point, you're not following your destined path, right? You're not, you're not following your authentic path. You're not following the right direction for you, that you're being guided by your intuition, by your spirit guides, by synchronicities, by your angels to take, to go. So, Action is being, let's see, there's a, a passion in you beginning here after spending a lot of time, seven of pentacles. This is a card of divine timing and waiting, waiting for it to be the, you know, right, the time to be ripe and right. Can I have one more on this ace of wands? We have the 10 of pentacles that came out kind of in a slant in reverse sideways with the eight of pentacles so we are not going to be able to get to this ten of pentacles here came out sideways uh, until we actually take co-create here right <laughs> until we participate until we take the action this right here is going the distance long haul energy right going the distance long term there was actually a card that came out uh, just yesterday about from this deck, which I'm going to pull. But again, we can't create, we can't, this is a culmination, the end result, right? Which is 10 plus year, life partner, legacy, empire, generational wealth, you know, um, financial freedom, retirement, financial security, family card, right? As you can see, this is the biggest money card to get in terror. As you can see, there's a palace 
There's a doorway to a palace there. The potential, and, and, and that's what the sacral chakra, solar plexus, is your millionaire chakra, right? The potential here for, uh, for this is huge. Huge for you to take action on this, right? Because it's going to lead to this. God, but you got to take, this person has to take the leap of faith for it. They have to put in, you know, I don't know how many more languages I can, <laughs> how many more different ways I can, I'm going to have to get, I have to figure out the test spirit to help me get more creative with how many times <laughs> in different ways I have to say the importance of participation in the manifestation. <laughs> You know, you just got to laugh because it's like the calling is very intense, right? It's very intense. Uh, when the ace of, when the ace of wands come up, it's a fire in your belly that it's like, it's a flame that never goes out. Right. And it is a manifestation, someone's manifestation, but we have to put in the dedicated time to work on it, to put in the, t the effort towards getting here right the time energy and effort the patience this is paying attention to the details this is a focused energy this is ambition motivation determination all of that willpower have somebody here is very skilled somebody here is very gifted they have a lot of talent within them with the magician card and they're in alignment with this with whatever work that they're doing Okay, but we got to keep on, be consistent with it. This could be related to your work because I'm seeing pentacles here and wands and, and the magician, which represents work, your purpose, aligning with your purpose, right? And, and trusting and believing in yourself, okay? And believing in your gifts and knowing that you are good enough and that you are enough for whatever this talent, the skill that you have, this gifts that you're awakening to, could be spiritual gifts you're awakening to, right? Um, the magician is an alchemist that turns lead into gold. It has all the tools and resources you need within you to create. To create, but this this gift of yours takes practice, consistency, and dedication for the long haul. It's like a slow and steady kind of energy, right? Uh, not just it's not just a cliche. It's actually the real deal slow and steady and, and consistency is going to bring in the success and the work. Don't look at the time frame. So, but, so that's the work stuff, right? And, 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 and right here, if I'm talking work, whatever pain from the past that you experienced, it actually activated you ace of wands and you're able to trans transform the energy, transmute the energy, transform the energy, alchemize the energy, right? And turn it into something like like your purpose okay make turning it into your purpose turning it into power and purpose for the best and highest good of all uh but if i'm talking this love because i do have the queen of love here it which by the way is in beautiful energy of love and abundance and forgiveness and comp she came out upright and compassion and self-love <laughs> and uh all the beautiful things, right? Psychic and intuitive, creative, all of that. Um, tell me, give me one on this 10 of pentacles here with the ace of wands. The, the potential is huge to come together and start building a beautiful life. If, if we're talking love, right? 10 of pentacles. We got to take action. Uh. <laughs> Towards the empress, right? To create here. For growth. The time is fertile now with the Empress showing up. The time is fertile now. There's a lot of, uh, again, if we're talking work, there's something here that the Empress, it takes, it takes, you know, the Empress tends, as you can see, tends to be pregnant with ideas, with new creations, right? The divine feminine energy here, sensual, loving, beautiful, um, unconditional loving, right? It's the mother of the tarot. Um, this is somebody that's not selfish, 
that is uh, holds space for growth, right? That's patient and kind and loyal and loving and understanding and very talented and very gifted. You give Empress a house, she turns it into a home. Anything you give to the Empress, she multiply, multiplies. Um, <clears throat> so very, very uh, beautiful and abundant energy. A lot of growth, okay? Here. Yeah, this healing, this healing that the... The releasing of this energy and this healing that this empress has uh, undergone with a lot of patience, a lot of alchemy. As you can see, Sagittarius energy here. A lot of alchemy took place. A lot of patience and moderation has brought this empress into a state of beautiful growth and peace in her or his life. I'm talking about energy, not, not gender. So uh, movement, communication. So balance is being restored with the two of pentacles. Things are allow for this wave, right? Ride the wave, two of pentacles, ride the wave. When, when things starts coming in real fast into your life, it's coming in to bring this in, to bring this upright for you. Okay. So stay open to receiving this because, um, and it's going to, when it does starts to move, it's going to start storm. It's going to start to move fast for you. Okay. Things are speeding up. And you're going to need to think on your feet, make room in your life, clean house. The universe is cleaning house. Your, the, the energy is being cleared so that you can welcome the sin. So you can make room for this that's coming in here for you. Okay. Which is going to be a lot of passion. And this is something again, that we've been preparing for working towards waiting on. We're no longer going to feel the pain of the past anymore. That was the point of this divine timing for us to heal all of that. Right. So this, this communication, this travel, this passion, this momentum of energy is coming towards the queen of cups. It's coming towards the empress and it's going to bring in a lot of balance. Can you please uh, give me one on the queen of cups here? Yeah, it's bringing in your wish. It's bringing in your wish and it's coming in because you're in this beautiful queen of cups energy, by the way. Okay. Uh, this, whoever is in the queen of cups energy. The queen of cups is in self-love. The queen of cups is in, um, this energy of, uh, emotional independence, satisfaction and fulfillment in the queen of cups is life on its own. As you can see, it's a single person here sitting. The ninth tend to be a solo energy. It's a single person here sending, sitting in her own energy, giving to herself. I'm saying her because it's feminine energy. The feminine energy is giving to herself, refilling, refilling their own cup, taking self care, you know, uh, fulfilling their own emotional needs. Okay. And because we're in this energy, we're finally no more codependency. We don't need anything or anyone outside of us to fulfill us. That's why it's coming in because there is a lot of forgiveness and forgiveness frees you emotionally. That's why the forgiveness work, the heart chakra work, the Archangel Shamuel, all of the, the, the work we've been doing, right? That I posted on the community board and in the description box of the reading has been working. Okay. You're manifesting from your emotions, the universe. Okay. The thought, let me see this at the bottom of the deck. The thought creates the feeling, the feeling creates the emotion, and that's what the universe is getting. So. Once we can take control of our thoughts and we can get out of our head and into our heart space, into feminine energy of receiving and allowing the receiving card jumped again yesterday. It keeps coming out because right now it's time that the universe is trying to balance things out in your life right now. It's time to receive right now. It's time to receive your good karma from coming towards you right now. It's time to receive the abundance that's being showered upon you of love. Okay. There's, there's a lot coming your way there. It's a whole thing, right? When somebody doesn't, uh, can't receive, have you ever met someone I have multiple times where you give them things or you want to treat them to something and they're uncomfortable receiving saying, oh, it's okay. It's okay. I, 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 I got it. I, I, I can get it. I, I'm good. I'm good. It's okay. Thank you. Uh, the, the pride, right? The pride is saying, you know, or, or, or the not knowing how to receive, right? These are the people that are just givers, right? Give, 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 and, and not giving anybody a chance or room to give back to them. 
because they're uncomfortable receiving. I used to be that person. Or I used to feel like if somebody gives to me, I felt like obligated to give back to them kind of thing. I'm not in that energy anymore. I've been healing that for a while now because I learned that when you stop somebody from giving to you from the kindness of their heart, that they want to be of service to you, they want to give to you, you completely create a block. Uh, 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 it blocks your flow of abundance from coming to you. It blocks your good karma from coming to you. But not only that, it blocks their good karma from going to them from somewhere else. So, it's a, a whole thing. And it takes a while to, to heal that, okay? To be in feminine energy of allowing, of patience, of flow, of understanding, of acceptance. So that you can receive. So you, there's a wish coming in, a beautiful, and it's very heart, it's very dear to your heart. It, your emotions is what I mean, was what this is that's coming in towards you, right? And, and yes, when you, when, when you start getting your manifestations, whatever it is, and this, it feels like it's love, right? When you start getting it, it's important to create a balance and time in your life for it, okay? Um which is the two of pentacles, right? Making room for it in your life, okay? Because it's what you prayed for. I think you spent a lot of time on your own here and, and, and incorporating another, because it is time to collaborate. It's time to come together. We've been hearing that. That's the message we've been getting. Can I have one on this queen of cups? Oh my God. This queen of cups is highly spiritual, highly cut, plugged in, highly connected. We're talking about a, a, a witch or a sorceress or a, uh, a psychic and intuitive, a healer, somebody here that's a high priestess. Okay. That, ca that, that has ancient truth, ancient knowledge. The high priestess comes out. You have, um, there's a lot of, a lot of mystery to you, a lot of silence. Your intuition is a thousand percent, right? Okay, so you can trust your inner knowing. You can trust yourself. You're heavily plugged in and connected to spirit, to your intuition right now. Okay, you have ancient truths. The secret, you hold the secrets of the universe within you. Okay, and I feel like um, you're heavily divinely guided and divinely protected here when it comes to this. It's guiding you to your victory and to your success, to everything that you want. And, and I feel like you, for some of you guys, you may have, um, a community, a collective, a platform, not for everybody that you are actually sharing your ancient knowledge or ancient truth with, and, and you got the reef of victory here. This is a card of public recognition, fame for some, and, uh, and, 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 and this person here is influential. This person here inspires others. This, these, these other ones are people. It's, uh, uh, cheering this person on, recognizing them. Okay. And open to listening to what this person is sharing. This is, this is a card of a victory after a battle as well. So your intuition is absolutely right. There is going to be, it feels like it's going to be a break in silence as well here. Okay. Um, you are, whatever it is, the momentum of energy that you feel coming your way could be an overwhelming amount of, 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 of energy here that you're feeling, right? You're right. Your intuition is absolutely right. What is this eight of wands coming towards the queen of cups here? What is this? Clarify that. Oh my, that wanted to come out in reverse actually, but it flipped all kinds of weird so there's somebody here, there's the King of Cups again, that, uh, you know, wants to, 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 to ride the wave, right? Of these, uh, the passion, the passion train wants to ride the wave. However, I don't know if this was going to flip out reverse. It hit my hand, all kinds of weird ways. And then I just grabbed it. You guys saw the whole, the whole thing. There is, uh, this is the back and forth, right? This is the anxiety, uh, you know, a little shaky knee, a little shaky legs <laughs> about this, about this communication, about this message, about traveling, going, moving forward, right? 
with this offer of, with this cup there's the king of pentacles again yeah they want to offer they want to offer something here they, it's like the start of something new i just heard with this page of pentacles i just heard um we need to get to know each other better or we need to get to we need to take it slow take a baby step we need to get to know each other all over again kind of thing but this is like somebody's in their head uh it's this king of cups we saw more than once this king of cups is in their head about this action going back and forth about it right because i feel like this person hasn't quite yet yes they're in the process of opening their heart and alchemizing but i still think that there's still some 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 people or some things in this person's past in their life could be their parents that they still need to forgive okay um to lower their tell me about this nine of swords why are they in the nine of swords about this eight of wands here who's in this nine of swords it's definitely not the queen of cups because this is masculine energy uh thoughts control all of that is masculine energy when we're in our heads that's ma you know in our thoughts that's masculine energy that's control right and that's not feminine energy tell me about this nine of swords with the eight of wands here back and forth uh mind over heart right when it comes to this movement forward this action right towards following their dreams following the calling following their heart towards expansion growth towards the future towards you know movement towards the, the the queen of wands which is the empress the empress is all four queens in one that's why the empress made an appearance okay so this is somebody that's struggling a little bit with their head and heart right it's like there's a there's a huge passion there's a huge call in the belly which is the divine it's the 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 the, the wands represents spirit there's a huge call it's a huge passion in the belly for this right for this uh, new start for the start to take place that's the storm that's the rumbling that you're feeling um but this person the fears the what ifs right i heard this morning i heard spirits say that this 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 divine masculine is wondering but will it work out will it be victorious will it be successful the what ifs right the second guessing and the self-doubt and the not believing in oneself okay not believing in in your own uh intuition your own inner knowing you're trusting yourself that you're making that, that this direction that you're heavily pulled like a wave like a you know when you're when you're heavily guided and pulled and you feel this like i don't know this strong calling within you intuitively to do something that's the say so wands and that's this eight of wands and this person is, is in full-blown resistance energy by going back and forth back and forth right regarding investing into something that's already invested in this is a tree that's already been planted it's 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 actually really burdensome and really hard for this emperor look there's the king and queen of wands so the divine counterparts right with the emperor here it's actually really burdensome and really hard for this emperor to stay away from the queen of wands but they're doing it anyway right they're doing it anyway i was on the phone with somebody last night and i was uh talking to her about about that uh, i was like the make it make sense came back right like if somebody knows but this 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 queen of cups is in a really good place of letting go and surrendering but it's like if somebody doesn't want to hurt another person anymore or ever again but they but they know that their their inconsistency here right they're back and forth they're in and out this juggling energy this uh uh indecisive energy and this uh procrastination energy you know affects this other person here 
why do they keep doing it? If they love this person, if they care about this person and they are considering this person's emotions and their feelings and their energy and their time, right? So, and, and her response was, well, a lot of times the guilt and the shame, the guilt and the shame that people carry within themselves holds them back from a lot, okay? The guilt holds people back. And, uh, and we saw the four of, of cups. It's somebody that's just, and you gotta really, you really gotta trust divine timing, right? Because if somebody's in low vibrational energy, which guilt, shame, regret is the lowest vibration on the spectrum, they can't really show up for you. First of all, they're gonna bring that energy into your life. And second of all, they can't really show up for you in the way that you deserve or are worthy of because they don't have a lot of self-love, right? And in, in that moment. So tell me what this nine of cups is here for this queen of cups. What is this wish? There's something coming in. It's coming. Divine timing is here more than once, but it is coming. Your ships are coming in. Whatever you are putting out to the universe with gratitude and unconditional love and acceptance from your heart's desire, what you want, whatever it is for you. It's going to be different for all of you guys, right? Whatever you've been calling, calling, you know, uh, calling in here with this beautiful energy of I'm already fulfilled within myself. I already know that's already mine. What's for me will be for me and it won't pass me by because I allow what goes, what stays, what crashes, what flows, <laughs> you know, I allow, right? Uh, because I know that what's for me will be for me and, 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 and what's for you is coming in here. Tell me about this three of wands with this nine of cups. Two of wands, three of wands. So I think we're coming out of planning here, energy, and uh, coming out of the in-between world. Now we have two, 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 coming out of in-between worlds, coming out of, uh, because we went from the two to the three, right? Look, we're taking, we're finally doing it. We're taking the leap of faith. We're taking the leap of faith. We're coming out of our heads going into our heart space. We saw the King of Cups a bunch of times. So that's somebody that's very psychic and intuitive. Their intuition is guiding them, right? We're coming out of the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands could be that um, between worlds, could be a crossroads energy, right? Um, could be setting intentions and planning, but not really acting on it. This is just somebody that has the, it's time to collaborate with another person. This is just somebody that has the world in their hands or they're seeing, they have some strong intentions, but they're still have one foot in their old life, one foot in their new life, needing to come out of a comfort zone here and actually take the leap of faith, right? Take the leap of faith, giving it a shot, taking it slow, seeing where it go. Yeah. Taking it slow, giving it a, it's this king up. Yeah. Taking it slow there. Wow. We're back to square one here. We're back to the beginning where we saw the two of cups, the same energy. And I shuffled family. It's, it's, it's we circled back. We circled back and, uh, and that's what this person, it feels like this person is doing. He keep, they keep circling back. They keep circling back to the same thing. <laughs> to the same energy, right? We take a leap of faith. And we move things along slowly and steady, slow and steady to, to rebuild the trust or to build the trust or rebuild for some to, you know, take our time in getting to know each other again, to, you know, feeling safe, right? Feeling safe, feeling safe again, <laughs> you know, and, 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 or feeling safe period, right? Um, and it looks like, looks like it's happening with the eight of wands. They're coming out of, of stalemate and stagnation and going for it. I am going to, um, pull from this Wait, before we do that, I want to clarify this queen of cups real quick. Got passion here. Clarify this Queen of Cups and this Nine of Cups. Because it feels like your ener the Queen of Cups energy is really good, attracting it in. Queen of Cups. Attracting this in, calling this in with this beautiful energy of openness and love and forgiveness and healing and light. Your light, if you're the Queen of Cups. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. 
clock. <laughs> Progress needs time, takes time, in time, right? In time, in time. Three of wands, in time. Progress is being made. What else? Talking. So a weighted message arrives right here. Eight of wands. An awaited message arrives. Interested in talking more. The, the queen of cups wants to... Sorry. <coughs> the queen of cups wants to get the ball rolling. Queen of cups wants to talk more. The queen of cups has been working on self-worth. Healing from heartbreak. And working on self-worth. Shadow work. Self-appreciation. Yeah, that's the energy. Oh, I love this for, you, for the queen of cups. If you're the queen of cups, good for you. Look at this beautiful energy. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Focusing on self-love. That's what I got here. Time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation, self-worth. That's the work, family. That's, the, that's what's attracting in exactly what you deserve and you, what you are worthy of. A wish of yours. Okay? But, it ha but that's because of this work that it's not coming in how you want it, exactly when you want it. Because you're attracting somebody in that knows your worth that's going to act accordingly and treat you that way. So you got to wait for, for, for this, your counterpart to also feel this way so that they can, uh, love you from a healthy place, right? From an authentic place with them having self-love as well, because if they have all this uh, stuff here that they're still holding on to, right? They're, they're not going to show up for you in the way that you, your self-worth, the way that you do the work that you're doing, because like attracts like. So if it's not coming in right now, trust that it's for a reason. It's for a reason. It's because your, your divine counterpart ha is, is, is still working on aligning with their own cup of love, with their own self-love, with their own self-worth so that they can love you from a pure place, not from a place of codependency and attachment. Right. And, uh, and they can be a healthy spiritual partner for you and love you in the way that you deserve and that you are worthy of. So if it's not coming in yet, it's not coming in yet. It's because their, their energy, it, I, this person showed up as the king of cups matching your energy. So it's very close. They're very close. Okay. I think that right now, the only thing that's stopping this person is their own thoughts. This person may suffer from anxiety, which means they have root chakra work to do. Nervous system, trauma healing work to do, right? My anxiety that I used to have all the time went to a complete end. Once I started to remove and clear the trauma and heal, remove the trauma and clear, clear the trauma from my body. So I'm going to split the deck here from the healing waters to get your last message. I love this weekend message. So maintain this vibration that you're in of unconditionally loving yourself, of self-worth, of self-love. Keep doing the work. I don't feel like this Queen of Cups is in any hurry for anything. I feel like the Queen of Cups is in complete acceptance, allowing and surrendering, and just really falling in love with the work, falling in love with the journey, and um, enjoying your life fully, right? Um, and, and making future plans, you know, putting intentions out to the universe, it feels like. Right. And, and connecting more, going within more, the feminine energy, connecting more with spirit, connect, strengthening, strengthening your spiritual gifts, your abilities and your intuition. Trust your intuition. You're right. It is, it is coming in for you in time. What is the message for the collective for the weekend? Another good one, family. Let's keep this momentum going. What is the last message here? Got two. Got clean waters. Clear vision, confirmation, right timing, and opportunity. And cleansing. Wow, clear waters and cleansing. Releasing the old. Six of cups in reverse and three of swords. Energetic tune-up and new beginning. I love this energy. Immerse yourself, training, learning, new hobbies and passions. That's what I was picking up with the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands here, right? And the Magician. So the Queen of Cups here and the, with the High Priestess, definite uh, ascension here, aligning with your awakening to your spiritual gifts and your purpose. 
definitely. New hobbies, new passions, clear waters. I'm actually going to read both. Everything's coming together. Everything's coming together and supporting you right now. Right here, especially with the eight of wands. Potency is present. Alignment has arrived. Potential is here. The waters before you are crystal clear. And what you're stepping into is of the highest potency. You know the way forward. High priestess, you know the way forward. There are clear seas ahead. Keep facing your true north and proceed onward. Your true north, your destined path. That's because you're following your intuition. When we follow our intuition, follow, not just listen. <laughs> not just got to take the action. When you follow your intuition, you are then on the right path, on the right track, facing your destined path, facing, facing your true north, on your north node, which uh, that's, that's the path to this wealth here, this abundance, true love, everything that's meant for you, that's right for you, that is the perfect cozy fit for you in your life. This is a wonderful card with a very positive message. It suggests that some things come, that some things come into your life that's great. That's, that's a great big yes. Or you've been working on bringing things into alignment and are stepping into that now. A creative project. We talked about that. A new relationship, a new home, a new phase of life. Ooh, whatever it is you've been manifesting or longing for, it seems that you're clear about what you want. Definitely here with the three of wands, two of wands. There's a lot of clarity here. Because it's, it's the open heart clarity, right? Because you're clear about what you want and it's coming to fruition. Because you finally made a decision. The person here with the two of swords, until this person decides and gets clear with the universe, right? This is still going to be, you know, this person's still going to have to have, have, have difficulties in their life, right? Um, this card comes with positivity, confirmation, and a lot of promising potential. You're supported on your journey and everything's opening up for you. I love this message. Keep your gaze ahead of you and don't get distracted by what others are doing or by other things you could be doing. You know what to do and have been working for this for a long time. Enjoy this moment. Embrace the clarity and the vision and receive all that you've created and will continue to create for yourself in the world. Wow, that's exactly it. It's coming. It is coming. Okay. What you prayed for, what you manifested, what you clear on, your focused intention right here, focused intention all day. All day. I want to get, I'm going to actually save this page. I'm going to get cleansing here. Cleansing. Is that next? Imagine. No, that wasn't next. Well, maybe that was before. Yes, that was the page right before that. Both of these cards came out. Releasing the old, energetic tune-up and new beginning. That's why this is coming in. Clean house. Water has been deeply associated with both physical and spiritual cleansing since ancient times. We use water to cleanse our day away as we bathe. And many of the world's faith traditions use water as a means of spiritual purification. From immersing in holy rivers to baptisms and ritual baths. Pilgrims around the world journey to numerous sites. Ooh, goosebumps. For the healing and cleansing qualities of their waters. The water in the, in the grounds of Japan's Hongu, Surgen, Surgen, Taisha. I can't pronounce that. Um, a Shinto shrine. At the foot of the sacred Mount Fuji is seen as both deeply holy and self-purifying. Flowing, flowing from the melting snow at the volcano mountain summit, it forms washing pools that call people to them from near and far. Many believe that these pools are very mystical and powerful. Local legend says, that the depth of the pool waters magically changes according to the size of the person who enters them. 
adapting to the level of their submergence. Ooh, how magical is that? While visiting the healing water sites of the world is an, incredib is an incredible thing to do. We don't need to travel to experience the healing and cleansing power of water for ourselves. You probably already use water in this way, although perhaps not consciously. As you shower or bathe, or as you wash your hands, consider the water and call it on and call on it to support you by washing away what's coming to an end or is no longer in alignment, leaving space for what you'd like to birth anew. So inquiry, what's no longer in alignment or coming to an end that you, that you're ready to release right here, right? Sat embrace. There are things that are coming to an end to align you with what is right for you. And the soul, soul inqu inquiry of this card says, I, I'm sorry, that's an affirmation, not an inquiry. I embrace the clarity and the potency of what's before me. I say yes, and I proceed ahead. But yeah, the path of least resistance is the way to go. This is a beautiful message once again, family. I love you all, and I'll see you guys. Um, going to try to catch up uh, on the readings. I still have another birthday celebration with my with my children tomorrow, but um, when normally I, I, I stay home and I post a bunch of readings um, th during the weekend, right? But um, because of all of this, you know, <laughs> balancing act that I'm trying to do, right, with my schedule, um, Everything is going to come out in perfect divine order and timing, but you'll definitely um, have your Monday morning reading, um, if anything. Okay. Uh, enjoy your weekend and happy birthday to everyone that has a weekend. I love your beautiful Queen of Cups energy. If you're the Queen of Cups, keep going, keep manifesting, keep believing, and keep having faith. I love you all. Thank you for liking, for sharing, for subscribing, for donating to the channel, and for every which way you guys show up for yourselves, for each other in our community, as well as for me. I love you. God bless you and namaste stay. Much love family. Until next time.